Hello and welcome back fellow Hydra Ultimate community. Today we're going to be going through the batch lister process. On the left side of your dashboard you will see the batch lister tab. Let's click on that tab to get started. Once you have opened your batch lister tab you will see at the top that there are instructions to tell you exactly how to list your item in batches. Let's take a look a little farther down and you will see that we have numbered tabs across the page here. Looking at the numbers on the tabs, they all match the numbered instructions at the top of the page, so this way there is nothing left undone or missed. Open tab number one. You can insert up to 500 URLs here of items that you wish to batch list. Make sure when inputting more than one URL that each URL is being placed on a new line as shown here. You will then click Save and be redirected back to the main batch lister page. As you can see here, the URL I placed in the first tab is now listed here. I only chose to place one URL for tutorial purposes. Now you can see the box to the right of the URL I listed in the first tab. We will need to click that box to be able to list the item or items that you choose URLs for. Now go to tab number two that says Get Item or Items Details. Let's click on that tab. A message will appear at the top of your screen asking, are you sure you want to get item or item details? You'll simply click OK. Once Hydra Ultimate has gathered item details successfully, you will see another message appearing stating, one or however many items you placed are being scraped. Now after receiving that last message, Hydra Ultimate will now scrape for all these items and their details. Now you can just click on the refresh button here and you will see the detailed information along with the images. You can see under status that it shows the item has been scraped. Now just like in single lister you can now see there is an edit tab to the far right of your item and you can now edit your item to best fit your item as desired. After we have clicked on edit you will be brought to the editing page. Here you can edit the title, quantity, and add any specifications that you may not have been available when the item was scraped from the original supplier's listing. Once you have gone through each tab and making sure that all your information in each tab is correct and accurate, you will come back to the original editing tab, Basic Details, and you can now choose to list your item. If you choose not to list your item right now, simply click Save and you can always come back to the Bulk Lister tab to edit any item and then list the items you choose to list. Once the item or items are listed, we can now go to the tab on the left side of the page and find the Listings tab. Let's click on that tab. Here you can see all your listings that has been listed. So now after checking that the item we just scraped details for is in the Listed tab, we can now go back to the Batch Lister tab. We will click on what items we know are showing in the Listings tab. Then go to the top right here and click on the Clear Listed Items tab. This tab will now delete all the checked items here that we know are in the Listings tab as they are a live listing in eBay. You will get a message asking confirmation. Are you sure you want to clear listed items? Simply click OK. Once you confirm that you want to delete these items from the list, you will receive another message stating Success. Queue items deleted successfully. Now you can go into your listings tab at any time and edit this listing from this point forward. Again, I want to thank you all for taking the time to watch the Hydra Ultimate bulk listing tutorial. I hope that you have found this tutorial to be helpful and make the bulk listing process an easy process for you. Make sure you keep coming back and watch the tutorials as Hydra Ultimate is always adding daily new things to help improve and make things simple for you. We'll see you in the next tutorial.